What's going on, y'all? Hope y'all been enjoying y'all Saturday. Uh, I've been enjoying mine as well. So let's get to reacting to some videos. Um, I guess this video is about there are some things in 30 things in Fortnite that I may have missed. I'm a Fortnite expert. I don't miss anything. <laughs> no, but um, I'm intrigued by, by this video. So let's check it out and let's see what I've missed. Just the title has got my attention. 30 secret Fortnite Easter eggs you missed. Let's see. Let's check it out, y'all. From a secret Shrek Easter egg to a hidden Cypher PK collab, here are 30 Fortnite Easter eggs you just may have missed. As most of you know, the two dancing henchmen can still be found on the map. And there are a few weird interactions they have, especially if you go up to one of them while wearing the scientist skin. Because if you do, one of the henchmen will flip up a go home sign with the scientist skin crossed out on it. Yeah, that happens every time you hmm. do that. But what happens if you buy multiple items out of a malfunctioning vending machine? If you do this, the vending machine will sometimes spawn a chicken. And these are the vending machines that have random spawns every game. After testing it out, though, it seems that this doesn't happen every game. It is pretty cool how that happens, though, but I don't think it's as cool as the secret Shrek Easter egg, because if we go behind Rick and Morty's I.O. station, there will be a toilet that no one pays attention to. And if you look closely, this is actually the same exact toilet that Shrek took wow. out of the potty. And it would be cool if we got Wow, that. we that's an awesome. Problem. As well as that, though, maybe a Cypher PK icon skin. Because he already has a secret book hidden on a mountain near Caddy Corner. So after Cypher made a video... Interesting. Epic I go to that place all the, the game, time. Well, they actually did it. And this book is from a popular series on his YouTube channel named How to Win, where he gives tips and tricks that help you out on getting some wins. And it generally seems like the creators of Fortnite watch many videos and movies because there's also a Lord of the Rings reference in the Chapter 2 Season 1 trailer. In the movie, there's a clip of Gandalf, Legolas, Gimli, and Frodo walking between two stones. And as you can see, the same happens in the Chapter 2 trailer with Turk, Journey, Ripley, and Nice! Well, maybe a decent number of you actually knew that, but I'm betting that very few of you actually know that the sounds the chickens make actually quite closely resemble a popular song you'll hear in movies like Apocalypse Now, named Ride of the Valkyries. If you listen closely at all, you'll hear that the chicken sounds are identical to that song. Here's a short clip so you can listen for yourself. Okay. certain things so they don't that's dope sued for copyright that's dope. so they did exactly that in the earlier seasons with skin parodies before they did any official collaborations they made some skins in reference to characters from popular movies and a few of those are leviathan oh i hate that skin Megamind, the reaper who was based on john wick as we all know and the rust lord who was based on star lord from marvel but they now have the real star lord and john wick in the game then, as you know, Cypher has his own Easter egg. The same goes for Muselk. His is a gravestone because there's a famous clip of when Muselk attempted to save Chappadoodle after he fell down the mountain and got stuck, unable to build anymore. But the rescue attempt did not go as planned, as Muselk hit Chappadoodle off the map with an ATK, and Epic added a tombstone at this location on the Chapter 1 map. That was a funny death clip, but dying to the alien parasites isn't as funny. Because yeah, it's really not. It actually really sucks. Refusing to let go. And while this parasite is attached to your head, your player can move and jump higher. But the bad thing is that they keep you at 60 HP. And if you didn't know, these parasites change the way you sound in the in-game chat. Yeah. Similar to the ghosts in Fort Nightmares during Chapter 2 Season 4. Oh, four. man. It does that like sucked. I hated those ghosts, stuff, man. Because we can't forget about the Pennywise Easter egg. During Season 5, Fortnite had balloons tied to a storm drain to potentially hint at an It crossover. But I guess either that idea was meant to just be an Easter egg or the crossover was later cancelled because it never happened. Then although they didn't do an IT collab, they did do one with Ghostbusters because they added skins and items from Ghostbusters. Yeah. But some of you might not know that there's still an Easter egg from the Ghostbusters hidden somewhere on the map. If you go to Camp Cod, you can find the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters covered up. There's also a famous Simpsons Easter egg hidden at Steamy Stacks that's been in the game for a while now. 
The pink donuts on the, the donuts are a reference to Homer Simpson since he's no always eating donuts while working at the Springfield nuclear power plant. And for the record, I would love to see a collaboration with the Simpsons. Oh, that would be awesome. I'm buying that skin. And a collab with Rick and Morty recently, but there is still a hidden Rick and Morty Easter egg that no one really knows the meaning of. If you go to the underground station at Corny Complex, you'll see that a whiteboard has a Rick and Morty Easter egg with hints of stuff that could come to the game in the future. And I'm surprised that Rick didn't experiment with Peely, since he's always in the storyline. But in the Loki trailer, there's a Peely Easter egg. Because while watching the trailer, if you look closely enough, you'll see engraved on the bus, it says Rip Peely. So it seems that something's going to go down with the storyline to prove that it's a loop. Since Peely man, this stuff is so back. cool, man. Something like, how do you notice some of this stuff? noticed as well is the Ferris Bueller Easter egg. At the fancy view clip house during the start of the season, the car was found on a jack stand in front of a big window. But later in the season, the car came off of its jack stand and reversed out of the window. Just like in the movie, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And Fortnite's been taking stuff for a while because they did the same with the default dance. The dance initially yep. comes from the Belle Biv DeVoe Poison video, yeah. which the character from Scrubs, Turk, performs on the show. The actor actually complained about Epic stealing his dance, but nothing ever came of that. Then, not only is there a chicken Easter egg in Fortnite, but there's also a second one, not counting the vending machine one. Because Fortnite took inspiration from The Legend of Zelda with the chickens. In Zelda, you can pick the chickens up above your head and fly around the map with them. And when Fortnite introduced chickens in Chapter 2 Season 6, they made them the exact same way. And I don't know if you forgot about the hey man outside of Frenzy during the earlier seasons of Chapter 2, but he was inspired by a movie called The Wicker Man. Then we would have thought that the swimming feature was actually an easter egg, but that's one because the swimming animation the characters have is based on a scene from Don't Mess With The Zohan. As you can see, he's no. in the exact same way that the Fortnite players swim and jump while swimming. It's all based on that scene. And not all the easter eggs are from movies, wow. because the, movie, the shark is an easter egg from another game made by Epic. In their game called Spy Jinx, it's a just secret a shark. Agent themed action adventure game, the whole thing takes place around the shark, and they later added the same exact location in Fortnite during Chapter 2 Season 2. But now back to the movies, because there's also a reference to Napoleon Dynamite, an emote no. that was inspired by the dance scene in Napoleon Dynamite. And this is the Groove Jam emote that was released in the Chapter 1 Season 4 Battle Pass, which could have been unlocked from reaching Tier 95. And I bet they would still do this. You know, kind of I don't think I've ever seen that email. Honestly, the series emails. Then it seems like Epic doesn't care how old the film is. If they can get a good Easter egg out of it, they'll take inspiration no matter what. They did this with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which was released in 1964. What? The characters from this film are in Fortnite, and those are Trog, who's based on the abominable snow monster, and the blue codename Elf, who's based on the elf named Ernie. And there are many skins inspired by movies, just like the detective skin. He's based on a detective named J.J. Giddis from the movie called Chinatown. If you look closely, you can see that he has the same exact bandages on his nose as the detective, and that's clearly inspired by the movie. Nice! One of the weirder Easter eggs is the Tenet algorithm Easter egg located at Steamy Stacks. If you go over to a secret basement, you'll find part of the algorithm from the movie Tenet. And some weird music that's actually from the movie will also play, so I'll let you check that out. The Thor's Hammer Easter Egg is another Easter Egg that many people didn't know about. In the Avengers Endgame movie, Captain America could use Mjolnir, Thor's Hammer. So Fortnite allowed it to happen as well in the game. So that means the only two skins you can use Thor's Hammer with are Thor himself and Captain America. And some Easter Eggs might be obvious, but there are some that no one pays attention to. If you look at the Agent Jones Jump 15 back bling, you'll notice a badge. And that badge actually is a badge that belongs to Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. No, wait, what? How did I not know, know this? When he was spotted in the Fortnite Walking Dead trailer. Then it's not only the cross- How did I not Easter know this? Because if you own the Ludwig skin, or just take a look at it, you may notice that the clock on his back bling actually tells the real time. Many people might have not seen this just because he's one of those rare item shop skins that most players don't care about. A random Easter egg is the one located in the middle of the map. If you land over there and look at the camera near the I.O. chest, you'll notice that Deadpool's logo is hidden on those surveillance cameras. That seems like it's either something related to the story or who knows, we might be getting something else Deadpool related soon. And another skin easter egg is the gold Laura Croft, because in the first ever Tomb Raider game, if Laura were to step on a hand of the Midas statue, she'd completely turn to gold. 
So it's pretty cool how they took that little detail and added it into Fortnite. Click the video on the screen before you go. Click now. It's about to end. Click. <laughs> Man, this honestly was pretty cool. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'll be honest. Probably all these things I did not know. Man, this just makes me respect the creators of Fortnite so much more and the people who put this together, especially doing this every season. Just putting little things in there that's hard for people to notice, man. Like, I, I really respect that. That's so dope. Uh, that Shrek one. I don't know. Never mind. But, like, because I feel like I've seen it, but I didn't think anything of it. Like... So this is this is pretty cool. What what which is the one that stood out the most to y'all? What what stood out the most to y'all? Uh let me know what y'all think about the video. Like the video, show me some love and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, peace out y'all.